Hey there, it's Calc here, and in this series of videos we're looking at the more experimental sides of both the peak and the circuit mono station synthesizers. In this particular video we're going to sequence the peak using the electron digitact. We're going to send it some notes, but also we're going to make use of the program change capabilities of the peak. Peak is able to uh, change patch in a super quick way and we can explore how we can use that with the Digitact. One thing to say about this video is that it's really more of an experimentation to give you a flavour of the sorts of things that you can do with the synth. So please don't expect anything kind of too musical at the end of it, but it should give you an idea of some of the things that you can create. So in order to get the Peak to behave this way, the first thing that I need to do is to set up a bank of sounds. I've chosen to populate bank D with the first eight slots taking up with different drum sounds. I easily found these drum sounds and saved them to this point by using the category selector and set that to drum percussion and found everything that was labelled drums and actually saved it directly into bank D. So the next step is that we're going to take the Electron Digitact and we're going to create a sequence on the Digitact and we're going to send program change messages to the peak. Every time the peak receives a program change message, it's going to change the patch. So the drum patches that I put here in the first eight parts are going to be moved through. So the first thing is I need to set a MIDI channel. So we've set MIDI channel one here on the uh, Digitact. I'll also turn on the program change and I'll just put in some notes now. So on the first one, we'll have program change number one. Number, let's just go here to number four. Well, we'll put some steps on here, but we'll keep the program change the same. And now we'll go to number six. Okay, so we've set the sequence up. Let's hit play and take a listen. You can see the patch is moving quickly through on the peak. And if I go to my tempo control, you see as I increase the tempo, the peak is super responsive and it's fine up to BPMs of up to, you know, 300 BPM. I've also set up on the Digitact the cutoff control and the modulation envelope decay values here. And once again, I can just simply quickly dial in using parameter locks a different value here. steps to get a slightly more rhythmic feel. Also, if I wanted to, I could change the notes of the different steps to different values, giving us some different sounds. Let's add a little bit of swing to the sound. So that you can see now that we're sending program change messages to Peak, we can use Peak as a multi-sound bank of, of different sound sources and actually almost use it like a drum machine by placing a different drum sound on each step of my sequence. Of course it's not exclusive to drum sounds and you can get some very interesting things using uh, synth sounds as well. So we can see how quickly the Peak reacts to program change messages and controller change messages. This makes it a very powerful, almost sort of multi timbral device. We can change the sound on each of the steps. As I say, this has been more of an experimental video, really kind of a, a way of showing you the sorts of things that we can do with the Peak. Uh, so you can take this away and start to experiment in your own time. I hope it's been interesting for you and thanks very much for watching.